In this lesson, we're going to talk about project management. This will keep your files safe and you won't accidentally destroy something that you didn't want to. So the first consideration is, notice this drawing. This has a, a boat trailer. The boat trailer is dropped down in a low swung position. Now when you back down a boat ramp into the water, the boat would be parallel with the water and a foot right off the trailer. I have another drawing which shows the boat trailer in the towing position which is raised up for extra clearance on the ground. So it would be a disaster if I were to take this drawing and modify it so that it looks like this drawing and then save it back on top of itself because I will now have lost the original drawing. So the first rule in project management is if you open a file and do any editing to it, anything at all, as soon as you make your first edit, we'll delete this, you should save that file under a new revision name. Save as. It already knows what you loaded it as. So we'll just make it revision 2.1. Now you save it right away because if you don't save it right away eventually you will get distracted by someone or something and you'll click file save you just destroyed the source file. So like I said the first rule is to always file save as anything that you edit. The second rule has to do with file naming conventions. If you notice if I open up these files here I have a boat trailer 1, 2, 3, 4 the boat trailer 21 which we just did. So you want to have some way of defining different revisions of the same drawing. What I suggest you do is you add a number after the drawing name such as 2, 3, or 4. Then if you want to revise the third revision like we did the second revision just make it a 2, 1. But let's say that the drawing needs a second page. It won't fit on one page. So then all we have to do is put a dash number for the page. And that's what I recommend you do. So now we know this is page 2 of Boat Trailer Drawing 21. We know it's revision 2. It's been further revised to 21. And it's page 2 of that drawing. It could be page 1, 3s, whatever up here. In our example, there isn't, but you get the point. You need to define the revision number of the drawing and also the page number of the drawing as part of the file name. That keeps everything sweet and simple. So that's the second rule with working with a project. The third rule you should always consider in project management has to do with file backup. Now in lesson 14, we discussed the auto-save file backup. That's short-term backup in case your computer crashes while you're actually using it. This is not that. This is a backup system whereas you send a copy of your latest update to a remote location, either remote computer off, I mean a remote drive outside of this computer, such as a thumb drive or a cloud or wherever as long as it's not on the same computer you're working on. The reason is that you could pick up a virus on the computer you're working on and it could destroy all your files including your hard work you put into your QCAD drawings. So it's important that your backup not be on the same computer. Chapter 14 auto save functions they're on the same computer. If you get a virus it's going to kill all of them. So keep that in mind. You want to save your files external to your current computer for two reasons. One is, like it's already been discussed, that you could catch a virus. The other is that the drive could die where you're storing it on your computer. Or the computer motherboard could die. And that can lead to problems, so it's best to have a backup copy external. So that's rule number three you should really consider implementing all three rules if you don't want to ever lose your drawing data. 
These discussions are simply food for thought. You may have some better ideas of your own, and that's quite agreeable with me. As long as you have some system to keep track of revision levels, a system to keep track of multiple pages of the same file, and methods of backing up away from your computer so that you don't lose everything if the computer crashes for whatever reason. Here's another example of project management. This particular file, Trevor 2, is open. If I select this item here and I delete it, then I go ahead and I say I want to file, save this thing. You notice that it just did it. It just saved it. It just destroyed that file. I lost the part I deleted here. So you have to be careful because QCAD won't always warn you that you've made changes to the file. It assumes you know what you're doing. So this concludes the project management lesson.